Okay, I have no memory of what I was up to. Anything underground? Or underground? Underwater? No. Doesn't look like it. Onwards, I guess. Oh, we just cleared that one area, grabbed the one thing underneath, and then I was just kind of like, alright, that's it for me. I'm a busy boy. Too many games, far too little time. Let's just redline it for a smidge. Kind of no reason why not. Because it's not going to overheat if I just leave it as such. Okay, let's set this up. Up here. There we go. Uh, right. I actually have to adjust this. I was just kind of sitting there watching and being like, oh, this is pleasant. It's like, no, 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 no. I actually have to participate. I can't just ignore. The more I'm thinking about it... Because... I'm 99% certain the character you play as in Far Lone, uh, in Far Lone Sales is a girl. And then this one is like a small boy. If these are connect, hmm. I don't know. I'm betting we find the other protagonist at like just the end of this game. Which I think is fine. I just want to see some like quote unquote progression with this, which is odd. And really, like, doesn't need to be said or done. I should be at least somewhat paying attention. Do I burn some fuel? Or I'm just going to let the, uh... I'm just going to let the sa sails carry me for a while. I have to pay attention a little bit to the radar just in case something interesting is going on. But otherwise, considering I burned through a lot of my, my special fuel to get through that last storm... It might just be a good idea to let the sails carry me for a while yet. Wait. Is my hook still just dragging? <laughs> it's still out there. Oh, baby. Let's just pull it back. I was wondering about that. I, it looks like it's going. Are we stuck? Oh. <laughs> we are, in fact, stuck. I mean, at least it didn't do any damage. I don't have a whole lot of repair kits. There's not much I can do with this one. Do I go down? No? Maybe. Maybe. Holy shit. This would 100% just pop the boy. Okay, I'm going to go get, grab this sub. This is deep enough that I think I'm going to need to just go down. Whatever it is, is this is not the kind of thing that you just do on... Well, I'd say on foot, but it's not really on foot. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if we're not the same character as we were in Far Lone Sales, we're like a, a small boy character. What if... Wait, can I... What happens if I go underwater with my sails out? I must... I must do this for science. Does it auto-retract? It's gotta, right? No, the sails are still up. Oh, yeah, there it is. I was like, there's no way. Oh. Manta rays. But if if we're a different protagonist than the last one, maybe maybe I will get my wish. Not for this game, but what if what if uh far endless skies is co-op with you playing as both of the protagonists? Okay, so we've got some fuel down at the bottom. I I would actually really appreciate that. I think that would be kind of fun. Like, two players taking on an airship. 
or just, you know, one player and an AI that is better than any player could ever be. I think that would be the ideal way of doing it. Okay, I should probably wait on this lever. Just in case I get close to the bottom. Though, I mean, it looks like it's pretty smooth. The odd thing is, this entire thing seems set up in favor of somebody having a submersible here. Like, I, I'm, I'm a little confused. Bonk on the front just a bit. Nope, never mind. It's in the foreground. <sighs> but yeah, I, I I was talking about this in the last episode, you know, the idea of like, where did everybody go? Because it seems like an amount of this world is... Oh, we did bonk. Yeah, that's fine. An amount of this world is set up in such a way that... Like... Uh, let's go down a little bit further. That, like, you should have this weird submersible boat. I mean, this here is a is a submarine lock-ish. Those don't generally exist in real life, but why not in this one? I'll just dump them in the front. But, you know, why would you- why would you build this normally? Unless, of course, the the society has kind of built around this. No. Ah. Hmm. I'm, like, overthinking things a little bit because I, I have to say this is probably one of the most interesting kind of retro-futuristic uh, settings I've ever seen in a video game ever. Uh, just in terms of, you know, it's, it's, oh, there's, there's a little bit more. Oh. Boop. I'll just go at kind of slow speed until we find what I'm looking for. Unless it's outside. It could actually be outside this, like, tube. Because, yeah, there's the dome thing again. With all of the towers. But... I mean, this, this vehicle definitely was based around the idea of doing submersible stuff. I think I might actually have to use the throttle for this. Okay, do I have enough clearance? I think I do. Okay, and down we go. Oh. One, not enough clearance. Two. I think we're stuck. Uh, I'm just going to move that there. You know what? I'll just make it work. This is giving me plenty of fuel at the very least. We might bonk a bit. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. What is it going to say? Um... But yeah, I find this this world particularly compelling, just because the the technology shown is really strange and really cool. And like, there's a lot of thought put into all of it. Like, suspension of disbelief mostly is involved with the fact that like, why is this small child's character doing all of this stuff? You know, this is the kind of thing that I would have expected, you know, an adult or even a crew of adults. Um, to engage in, not. There we go. Okay, let's get a little bit more. 
who needs throttle controls? I guess I did a little bit. But otherwise, I'm good. But that, like, I want to know more about this world and how it's functional and what happened. And I think that's part of the allure of this game, but at the same time, like, I, I legitimately actually really would like to know. Um, oops. Did not mean to hit that button. Okay, I've got more fuel than sense. So I'm probably fine. Unless we bonk. Okay. That's a bonk right there. I'm not actually sure what that would do to my vehicle. Yeah, let's go up a little bit more. Looks like there's some fuel on the other side, too. Oh, interesting. Do we not burn as much fuel? forward. There's clearly something down there. And we're losing pressure. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to restock these just because. And then down we go. So what is in here? Nothing. Okay. Wait. No. I think we go down. Come on. I think we hook into this machine. For better or worse. Okay. Now we go in. Hi. With like a diving bell. Well, there was loot or something down here. There's a deer. I think I, okay. I think I see. Go back. First, let's put down the deer toy. Unfortunately, I've picked up far too many toys for my own good. I will not burn any of them. There you go. The jolly swinging deer. No! I hate how easy it is to accidentally hit that button. It's entirely my fault, too. It's okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. So what do we have in here? Where does this go? Well, it goes deep, whatever, wherever it's going, and for what, whatever reason. Wait, am I gonna need my hook for this? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this one's out of juice. So we probably have to remove it. Grab that. I don't know if there's a proper disposal location for this stuff. Interesting. Okay, I don't think there's anything over... Oh, wait, no, no, no. We put it down over here. Because that's where the spent ones go. We grab the other one when we can. Onwards.
was confusing. It feels like all of this is meant to be underwater, but I don't think it is. It's just been either repurposed or by sheer chance it still works. And I don't fully know. Okay, well, let's just bring it back. And then drop it off. Fortunately, now I just have to wait for it to slot in before I can go down and press button. There we go. Okay, so what is this going to do? It refills the juice, I'm assuming. Or gets this running. mean the machine upstairs is functional. Wait, can I scoot through the gap? Yes. Hey, look at all this bonus fuel to replace the stuff that I keep squandering. Oh, it's because I'm jumping over that three thing. I think that's what keeps getting me. You keep seeing it as something I have to hop over like a package. And it's not one. Wait, hold up. Maybe I can... Oh, that's interesting. It actually, like, blocks my momentum. I was hoping I could kind of just push it upwards. Because, you know, kind of makes sense. No. Can't do it. It's okay. Grab, 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 and ascend. Dump it off. All right. Anything else? Yes. Because there was that, that machine here. I think? Or no, there, there's something more I need to do with this. Is there? Because it connected. We have this light. But this is red. Why, though? Because there's something else I'm missing here. Because we've got, like, a cracked dome thing. And then more or less the entrance that I came in on. Okay, maybe, maybe I just have to turn the ship on. I don't want to waste fuel unless I have to, even though I think I have tons. Uh, let's see. Oh, I knocked the deer off. Guess it's pretty easy to do that. All right. Here we go. Boop. Yeah, okay. This is definitely what I'm supposed to do. What do we think? I have to redline it? Okay. Keep it redlining. Maybe what I have to do is then go down? Wait. Yes. No. Oh, no, I have to do the full-on power module. Come on. Come on, boy child. Okay. We have to... Uh, we have to do the full boost. On the plus side? It doesn't look like it's costing me any fuel while I'm here. I just gotta cool it down. Oh, damn it. Okay, there it goes. Now it's powered up. 
I hate where the throttle is placed. I get it, but I hate it. All right, let's try it. There we go. What does this do? No. Oh. We're going up, up. Okay, then. Wait, is this the, the spherical dome thing? Because they kept showing images of this. I, I think. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but yeah, there, that's one of the towers in the background. Because they showed these all over the place, so... Huh. This is going to be inconvenient for my boat to cross. <laughs> as near as far as I can tell, this thing does not have wheels. <laughs> what if, um, what if I just like turned on the throttle and it just, the, the paddles turned into like seal flippers or something. It just starts like hauling itself forward like a sad walrus. Just, uh, uh. Ugh, until it like tumbles back into the sea and then it can go back to being its graceful self lumbering but beautiful I don't think that's how this works put this in the same category as like journey where you get just like a lot of I, I think I was talking about this earlier but you know where you get the contextual clues of like what happened to people kind of sort of but it's very isolated and mysterious and all the technology is not you know standard or at least not earth I kind of appreciate it actually in a lot of ways But I, I'm still hungry for answers. And I'm also hungry for like, I want to say like a happier ending, if that makes sense. Why are we fading to black? Right. Okay. Did we just chill here for a while? Because this would have made sense if there were other people, you know, just like, hey, we helped them build their city, but yeah, we're just kind of chilling up here. Alright. That was a different time of day. I'm confused. And my ankles are now broken. Do we... do we go? Uh, I mean, we have wind. I, huh. Oh.
Yeah, I guess we're just pushing through it. <laughs> this feels unsafe. I thought that was gonna give us like a like a flying upgrade or something. What now? Yeah, that's yep. Right there with you. Okay, I'm gonna be a little worried in case there's something up ahead. I don't think we're gonna bonk, and uh, that's just a rope. So I think we're good. Yeah, this whole place looks like it's messed up, though. So, like, I reactivated it, but why? Just to go up, I guess. I mean, it's cool. I, I still think it would have been kind of neat if you saw, like, a group of people in, like, windows or something indicating, like, hey, hey, raise the city. We need, you know, we need your help or something like that. You know, maybe they're, they're trapped or incapable of somehow dealing with... the ruined state that their city is in. That doesn't seem to be the case. Well, other thing to check would be, you know, is there anything inside? Ah, eh, you know what, I've probably got enough fuel to last me for the rest of the game, and if I don't, we'll just figure it out. As long as I've got wind at my sails, I might as well stick with it. Because, yeah, this looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time. Clearly, at least long enough for everything to fall into disrepair with no one generally around that is capable of fixing it. I'm just going to pull it in for a bit. I don't know how long this thing, or how far that thing juts out, but why risk it? Why damage myself when it's not a problem? I do wonder if there is like a hard game over that you can get in this game, or if like you really can just continue sailing, it's just much, much slower. I don't really know. Other immediate problem with this game, not really an immediate problem, but boy. The just mournful, just lovely soundtrack absolutely puts me to sleep. It's, uh, it's fine, but I'm, I'm always, mm, just suppressing a yawn playing it, just because I, I want to be like cozy and lying back or something to that extent. Okay, let's pull this in. I don't know how close that is to the ship. But if I can avoid bonking, then I will. No. I'll just leave it as such. We'll get there. It doesn't even take that long. There we go. Onwards. Yep, pull it back in in my way. It does move out of the way of it. Yeah, there it is. Oop. I don't know if that would wreck my sails, but I am not... I am not going to check. Okay. Wait. Where's my... Where's the wind? Or is there no wind? No? There's wind. I just really have to get the sail out. Even then, this is doldrums. You can even tell the wind isn't that strong. Okay, fine. Uh, let's just pull this back. I got fuel for days. 
If the wind's gonna be that weak, let's let's take this at speed. Cause yeah, I, I've got enough fuel to get myself places. Okay. The other thing is I just want the music to come back. It's kind of minor or even non-existent if you're uh, if you're going slowly. Now I might actually blue line this just a smidge here and there. Main reason being this way I can um I guess let's open this back up. Let's go full speed ahead. Uh, I might as well blue line it a little bit when I'm given the opportunity uh, just to build up some charge. That way I don't have to build up from nothing in the future. Like if I'm going to be going, I might as well be going maximum fast. Okay. Nope, too far. There we go. Oh. Uh. I think we need to go down. I am like 99% certain we're going down. We're also out of fuel. But yeah, if there's if there's icebergs and stuff like this, then we probably should just go underneath it. Plus, there's apparently a lot of goodies just hanging out down here. Oh yeah, this is the right way to go. We we're just gonna get perpetually stuck otherwise. Let's go until we hit some kind of limitation, because usually I don't have to go back up. Eh, sometimes. I see stuff falling. Oh. This deer toy went on a trip. Apparently putting it here means it like flings off or something. I don't know. I don't think it likes the physics of what I'm up to. But that's okay. Let's go investigating for resources. Holy smokes. Am I, am I supposed to take the sub down here? No way. Really deep. Oh. What is this, though? It looks like I'm supposed to do something with it. Or maybe I just go over it. Maybe it's kind of a mirror of what we'd seen earlier. Okay, let's go back for a second. I d I'm not finding the uh, the fuel that the radar was telling me about. How long? Did oh, well, here's a bunch. Dang hatch. Yeah, there's something up ahead, but it's like way further up ahead. So I think we just we just continue on. I will say I think we want to go up. 
Unless we're supposed to connect with the machine again, but I, I kind of doubt it. Okay, let's go up a bit. Okay. And we don't want to go too fast. So let's just go at kind of base speed for a bit. Let's see. What's well, working? Oh no, I I am. I am supposed to do this again. Huh. Damn it. Now let's try doing it. It more or less works. Okay. I was not expecting to find one of these so soon, but here we are. Okay, so we have an elevator. Oh! We're gonna be a dry boy. Uh, dry boy is not okay with this. Dry boy is fine. Do I just hold the jump button? Do I just manual jump? No. Okay. So what is the point of this? Oh. If I level it out... Yeah, because we're trying to get it to connect. With that thing on the other side. There's also a repair kit up there. That does something. Seismic thing. Eh. Okay. No, it looks like I can still push them. Heavy as heck, but I can still push them. Okay, so that did something. Here, I'm just going to put this on top. And then scoot it over. I don't think it's making anything tilt or anything of this sort. Okay. Plunk this in here. Did I... Oh! This is how I get out of here, of course. So now I can utilize this. Uh. Well, that's bad. Dry Boy is not okay with that.
Okay, well, I guess Dry Boy has no choice but to be here. What's in here? It looks like this whole area is supposed to be at least somewhat underwater. Drag this back and out, grab our repair thing. I don't actually know if I'm going to need to repair anything. Despite the fact that we just took some damage. No, this is a lot more diving stuff. So this is supposed to be underwater. Oh, spinfish. Where's my sub? Hello? <laughs> I guess I'm hoofing it. Wait, how are we not freezing to death? Oh, I'm I'm literally just going to be walking this. I will repair my ship. Yeah, as far as I can tell, this like this poor boy is barefoot. And he was definitely just underwater. Like, he should be massively hypothermic very quickly. These are... All of these are things that you do not do. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's just, like, this weird... Unstoppable beast. That just, like, does not care for the cold. It's possible. I, I've definitely met a couple of... Eastern Europeans that are just like, what? No, it's... It's... Only just a little bit below freezing. We can still swim, and they just go swimming. And I'm like, how are you not dead? And yet, they were fine. I don't get it. I think it has something to do with not seizing up in water and then just warming yourself up. No, I have no idea. I'm not going to perpetuate any kind of myth here. Oh, this is slide. The fact that I'm still carrying the repair kit speaks purely to my knowledge. Knowledge, my stubborn uh, assumption that my submarine is fine and I will find it at the end of this. It's interesting how much of this stuff from whatever this past civilization was is still all over the place. Because it looks like... It actually looks more like a train than a boat, if I'm to be entirely honest. But, you know, the fact that there's all of this stuff everywhere is wild to me. And who knows, maybe, maybe the Arctic is more settled than I think it is. Like, I've, I don't know what's in Greenland, but my assumption is Greenland is actually pretty sparse as far as human settlement goes. And let alone, you know, the North Pole or anywhere of that sort. But yeah, they they have like a whole settlement here. This is this isn't just boats, I think. Or is it? It's very hard to tell. There's a lot of ramshackleness here. Because it feels like this could have been like a giant cruise liner thing that is also made out of house. So it looks like another boat crashed through. Huh. Uh... Okay. Oh, it's another carousel. Oh, I do not remember the name of that song. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. 
This is a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to s somehow figure out how to ferry. But I'm gonna do it. Can I even make that jump? I guess I gotta. Can I make it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know which is most valuable. I don't even know how far we need to walk with this. I'll bring the, uh... I still got a repair tool left on the ship, so I think I'm going to start with the carousel. And then we'll go from there. Because if it's a giant pain in the butt, then that's the thing I want to save. The repair tool, eh. I'll probably be fine. But look, I am going to arrive with no supplies, nothing to repair with. But I'm going to have like a thousand carousels and other uh, charming goodies. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I kind of need one of the repair tools, don't I? Grab that. Okay. How far must I go to find my ship? Because if it's not too far, then I'll go back. But if it's pretty far, then no. It's pretty far. We're, we are already well past the point where I, I'd go back for either of those repair tools. Okay, so I think I just have to find shelter again. I'm just gonna wait here. Wind's gonna pick up again. Yep. Yeah, we're definitely not going back for those repair tools. Me and Horsey are gonna go find the ship. They can just be there for the next unfortunate sap that needs them. And if it turns out that I need them later, well then, pie on my face. There's an egg on my face. I have no idea. Idioms. Like, it's weird. I remember the core spirit of the idiom, but the words are interchangeable. And sometimes idioms are combinable in my mind. Many of them are, in fact. No. 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 All right, let's try that again. I get why games have these moments. Wait, you absolute turd. What I get for taking my hand off the controller for a brief second. I guess I will just be here. Can't do anything about it. I'm just going to start pushing against it in retrospect because nothing can stop me. Well, except for the wind, but the entire point is this way I get as much of a head start as I possibly can. On we go. Hmm. 